Hello everybody, my name is Merc and today I'm playing some Binding of Isaac. Now if you don't know what the Binding of Isaac is, you should probably turn away right now. It is a horrifyingly twisted game by a couple people from Newgrounds, which should say something I, I think. And they also, well one of the guys also made Super Meat Boy, which is a fiendishly difficult platformer made to tear hair out, I guess, because <laughs> that's what it succeeds in. And this game is also meant to be like that. But you want to keep playing it, because look at all the items I found, all the stuff, man. Yeah, there's quite a bit of random items in this game, and I'm not going to really go into them that much. Hopefully, you will see them. And, uh, yeah, so let's start. So you start off as Isaac here. And, uh, your mom is trying to kill you with a knife. So you run... Oh, she has to try to kill you with a knife in the name of God. So it makes it, it, makes it good. So you're trying to run into the basement. And, uh, you keep going down. What will you find when you keep going down? Oh, I'm... I'm I don't know. <laughs> so here's you can see Judas and Cain and Magdalene. There's even a dead baby that poops, and Eve, who is a whore of Babylon. So this is a fun game already. Definitely for kids. I recommend it to anyone with children. <laughs> no, seriously. If you have children, definitely do not uh, get them this. So I start off with my tears, and uh, yeah, this is my main attack. I also have bombs. One bomb up here, you can see, and spacebar item which I can keep using, and this is a map. Now, the spacebar item that I start off with re-rolls other items that I find. Now, these guys, I have to kill every enemy in order to leave the room. So, kill these guys that are just hanging out, and they only attack when I get close to them. So I could just hang out and do that. And this is a secret rock right here, which means, it, because it's blue and has a little X on it, which means I can blow it up, and get two spirit hearts, which is a good trade, in my opinion. So, a bunch of guys surrounded by poop. One of them killed himself under the pressure, which is cool. So, these guys just try to run away, crying, which is understandable. I'm killing them with my tears. But when they die, they also spawn other flies. And that one, that big one, is a pooter. And you will see them more later. But for now, it's just a bunch of black flies, and some red blinking flies, which will come attack you, and the pooter that shoots. Alright, so I got another bomb, some two cents, which I found in the basement, after shooting some poop, and killing some flies. It's a very, very fun game. <laughs> so I just got one bomb, plus another one free, because the game decides it wants to be nice for a change. Like these little smiley faced poops, I guess. And here's a decapitated body, I guess. And this is the item room with that gold trim around the door. It means that we get a free item here. Now I don't know if I want to re-roll this. Um, uh, I'm not gonna re-roll it. This is Brother Bobby. He makes it so he shoots with me. He cries with me. Good, good Brother Bobby. Cry together. And we're gonna cry monstro to death. First kill his flies. Now this monstro is a different color than normal. He's a little, I guess, browner or like grayer. And that means he is a stronger version of some sort. Maybe it means that he does... I think it means that he doesn't do one attack that he has and he said only does this attack and the attack where he jumps at you, that one right there. So he keeps doing that over and over and over again. Because his third attack that he gets is a really high jump and then you just see his shadow and you have to avoid that. There's a lot of enemies that will are shadow-like that you have to avoid. You'll see. <laughs> you will all see. <laughs> Alright, if you haven't already. Oh, so coat hanger, that's pretty decent, but I think I'm going to have to reroll this. And I got the pentagram, which is awesome. That's a damage up right there, and I got some sweet devil horns. You know, 
the more horns you have, the hornier you are, the cooler you are. <laughs> so me and Brother Bob are just gonna come out and explore the rest of our basement here. And this is awesome because there's two bombs in there. I use one bomb and I get one free. Cool stuff. Now that is the shop which costs a key to go into but I really don't have enough money to make that a viable option. And I came in here and found Gluttony. And he is a mini boss. He is nothing because he sucks. And he only drops some hearts. It sucks. Oh well. So come back down here. Um, I'm gonna look for the secret room. There's always a secret room on every floor, and they're always in an area where there's a lot of rooms around it. So the two eligible candidates for this map, as you can see in the top left is this wall and it's not that or down here and there we go <laughs> and all of that for three cents awesome and a crying dead guy that's cool he will just remain in there forever crying just like uh, Isaac here I guess S scared of being in a chest yeah, that sucks. You creepy little boy, you with demon horns. So, we got some hoppers here. Hopping around, hip hopping with their hips. I don't know. Do you have to put your hips into hopping? Possibly. Now, if you noticed, I got those two blue hearts. I didn't even really explain them. Basically, they are armor of sorts because you can only pick them. <laughs> Chestception! <laughs> Alright key and coin. Now, as I was saying, you can only pick up a certain amount of uh, red hearts because I only have three heart containers, so I can't pick up this yet. But with blue hearts, you can pick up as many as you want, and they can even go off the screen because you have so many, but you can't do that with red hearts. So, <laughs> let's go, this is the boss room, let's go fight him right away. Because I can re-roll, and no, I can't, because this item that the boss drops is non-re-rollable, which sucks. But oh well, it's a pretty decent item, but it's not one of my favorites. Now this guy is Famine, who's obviously one of the four horsemen, as you can tell, with his pony there. And he summons those pooters, and then will try to ram you. And he will only try to ram you when you're to the left or right of him. And then after he gets to a certain amount of health, he will do this. And spew his aids at you. Pick up the cube of meat. And, because I killed him so well and didn't take any damage on this floor, that much anyway, I spawned a devil room, which I can go in. And... He's offering me one of the best items in the game right here. For two hearts, but I can't do that yet, so I'm gonna reroll. And I'm gonna get... A pretty decent item right now. The nail. So I cost one health, and every single time I use this uh, nail, I can destroy rocks, which is a good area to show right here. And I also gain one blue heart, and it recharges every six rooms, I think. Which is not very good, but I can pick up items like batteries to uh, make it recharge a bit faster. The item is very good, and you actually won't be able to pick it up until you beat the games a couple times. So open up that chest with the key, and I got the Justice card. I'm gonna just save this for now, because there's a chance that it'll spawn some items for me, or it'll spawn another guy who is kind of also known as Justice. He's a little guy, who's a beggar, who's begging for some coins, and he might give you stuff. So... Oh, a troll bomb, right next to Secret Rock, which made another troll bomb. What a troll. Awesome. That was very well. Very well done, I guess. Even though it was entirely random. I haven't even mentioned that, but this game is entirely random. Randomly generated, except for, like, you know, there's certain amounts of rooms, there's certain amounts of enemies, but yeah. So these guys like to run away from you. You can cry like little bitches. And then when you kill them, they spawn flies. Yeah, they're dicks. <laughs> no one likes them. They got bullied. So, 
kill some more hip hoppers. These guys are nothing, but they evolve, man, they evolve. Not like Pokemon, but maybe. We don't know. You never see them evolve. <laughs> so now, because I'm on the second floor, it costs a key to go in here. And I got the unicorn horn. Oh, god damn it. That is another spacebar item. Which I can uh I can show it. I'm gonna show it in the next room. And then I'm gonna go back for my nail, because it's that awesome of an item. Come on. Alright. So I turned it to that was awesome. I killed that one guy on the left here, and he dropped a troll bomb, which opened up this secret room right here. Go in here, and there's a slot machine, and a dead guy. Hello, dead guy. Uh, let's just blow it up. And that was okay. Unfortunately, it was only a slot machine. Okay, so let's go back and get my nail, as promised, because unfortunately, that item's too good to pass up right now. And uh, it also uh, increases your strength when you use it in that room. So it's good for bosses. Because you also get a heart. And also destroy rocks. And uh, those are pretty much always in the game here. Now I've explored everything. I th yeah, so I can just uh, exit. And, uh, oh, derp. If you've noticed on the map there, the white square is the one that I'm in, and obviously I don't know that that's, that's why I told you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I have to go in the shop, I have to see. Nice, there's two batteries in here, but one of them's on sale. So, you know, shopping spree, it's on shit, it's on sale. Blah, can't even talk. Oh, you know what, let's go, just, just, blah. I could have even had the other battery, because of justice. Ah, I think I might have wanted the other battery. I think it's a bit better in this uh, situation. But you know what? No, actually, the battery that I got makes it so when you're in a room for a long time, you also uh, just recharge. That's a little dream or nightmare of kids laughing at him. Sucks, Isaac. That sucks. And here's a beggar. Cool. Let's uh, give him all my money. Yeah, he looks so happy with his little one-tooth smile. Give me some stuff. Yeah, little shit. Give me more stuff. Ah, uh, give me more stuff. No? Okay, one more, one more. Give me more stuff. Ah, uh, come on, man. Make him break the break the bleh, break the bank here for a Ouija board or Luigi board. So now I can shoot through rocks, but it also makes it much harder to shoot poop and fire. But I'm fighting sloth here. Has some simple mechanics shooting those bombs. Spawning maggots. Oh god, or silkworms, or whatever the fuck they are. Are they the same thing? Are maggots silkworms? <laughs> so I got the card, the stars, which takes me to the item room. The item room, awesome. And I got chocolate milk. You know you can't go wrong with chocolate milk. Sometimes you can in this game though, but you know what? Chocolate milk makes it so I can shoot faster by spamming the arrow buttons, which you may now hear, or I can charge it up and fire a big one. So it's pretty neat. But for enemies like this, you kind of just need to spam it, and I should have used my uh, spacebar item before, long before, but I haven't. Got a nickel there, which is great in this game. It's only semi-okay in real life, I guess. <laughs> these days it also makes this uh, Ouija board also makes it like so hard to destroy TNT it'll just go right through sometimes sometimes it just won't obviously see so I might go back for that shop and a bunch of freaking Eiffel ooze guys as Northern Lion would say and if you don't know who Northern Lion is, and if you don't know what the Binding of Isaac is, he's uh, the reason why I'm playing this game, basically. I saw his videos, and they're just hilarious. So I probably will link that in the description below. Now, in there, there's a bunch of bombs, so I can use, hopefully, one <laughs> and get it. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Now I have to break even with these bombs because I wasted the one with the tear. 
so do that. At least another one. And now I get all my bombs back. <laughs> uh, I would have got one profit if I didn't waste the first one. That sucks. Get a key in this path to nowhere. And walk back out. Or shamble out. He walks so weird. And spam arrows. And use this. Because it recharged. And it'll recharge over time as long as there's enemies in the room. So that's cool. And I can also use this to uh, break this rock here. And I also got an upgrade off of it. And since I let this enemy live, I also got an extra little bonus for my nail. Now I got a damage upgrade, which is just awesome at this point. Because it's just butter on the toast. I don't know. Icing on top of the cake. I don't know. My uh, metaphors aren't all top-notch recently. <laughs> or did I... was it a simile? Did I use like her eyes? I don't know. Play it back. <laughs> so... Kill these guys. Get some bomb here. Find another boss. And now I'm fighting Pestilence. Another horseman. So, for killing him, I will get another cube of meat. Now I didn't even mention the, the, the other cube meat I got. It'll, it's like a de defense shield, it'll block bullets coming in. If I get this upgrade, it's also a defense shield. And it actually also will shoot out more bullets. So I'll brother Bobby and another guy shoot bullets. Now this guy has two phases as well. And his first phase he spawned those larva and uh, shot that goop. And now he's just shooting goop and spawning flies. And that goop can still hurt me, so you gotta be careful. So, pick up another cube of meat, get this little meat boy here, and... I'm gonna look for the secret room. Because if I get nine cents in that secret room, then I can go to the shop. Which would be awesome. And here's the secret room, awesome. Three cents. Well, I think I'm gonna go to the shop anyway. It's better than nothing, and I can maybe get something on sale. It's like Steam. And there actually is a Steam sale item that'll make everything permanently 50% off, which is great. Because it's pretty much like Steam. <laughs> I remember I bought this game on sale. On the Christmas sale. And, of course, two very good items, the compass and the book of revelations, but I won't even pick that up, are too expensive for me. I might... Uh, no. Oh well. Okay, let's get our slow ass back to the next boss. Oh, god damn. He says as he goes the wrong way. Okay, gotta pay attention to the map. God. What the hell am I doing? Playing this game for how long? Actually, I've been playing this game for a little while now. Like I said, I got in the Christmas sale. And, uh, pretty much got beat the shit out of it. Got all the characters. It's a task and a half. And got the D6 for Isaac, which is another task. So I like to think I'm pretty good. I don't have every item yet, but I've seen every item in the Let's Plays that I mentioned and linked below. So I know this game inside out. Now, the cool thing is this game... I'm fighting Pride here. I'll talk after Pride. Pride uh, spawns troll bombs, like a little troll. And he also does that. And those are his attacks. And he spawned the moon, which will take me to a secret room. And gave me Bob's Rotten Head, which is a useless item. Well, it's not really useless, but it'll destroy walls. It's like a bomb that you can control, you can just throw in that direction. And open up another door. So let's go through that door. As I was mentioning, uh, there actually is like a DLC coming out for this for three bucks. And it's going to be like a whole another set of uh, games. Basically, I can't even explain it. Oh my god, I blew up that TNT and he still didn't even die. What is that? The new DLC is going to um, provide new enemies. Instead of flies, it'll be spiders type of thing. And instead of the basement, it'll be the attic. Like alternative, instead of Caves 1 and 2, it'll be Caves 1 and I don't know, something else too. They announced it, I don't remember what it is. So my nail got powered up, but I should have used it, and I'll just use it this room. No, I shouldn't have destroyed that. Oh god. 
Okay, I gotta not take so much damage. I don't like these freaking meat guys. And this guy's colored. Not to be racist. Goddamn colored. Colored maggots, man. <laughs> they don't do anything. Stealing our jobs, but they don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. Don't ask me. I barely even see anything, let alone colors. <laughs> As you can tell by some of my dodging. No, I seem to be doing pretty good. I was doing a practice run earlier and I was failing. Failing quite horribly. But I seem to be doing uh, decent. But I'm only on the second world, I guess. Because it's basement and then caves. And the next world is the depths. 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 <laughs> yeah. So, pick up two bombs for one bomb. Awesome trade. Use the nail. Kill some gishes, which are just like those other meat guys, except they shoot diagonally. Like rooks versus bishops. That sounds like a pretty decent game, besides chess, you know, like rooks versus bishops. <laughs> I don't know, I don't quite know what a rook is. Maybe I should look that up after this. <laughs> I probably will too. Don't don't put me past it. So kill a bunch of those more meat guys. Health is doing pretty good. I could uh, get another heart container, it'd be really cool. Just so I have more stable life, because this nail isn't going to last me in the later levels. Let's go down here. Kill a bunch of maggots. Shoot maggots. I don't know what they call these guys. Kill them dead anyway. Two more free bombs. And kill some following heads and some flesh turrets. It's creeper heads trying to get me. Use my nail. So when I kill this turret, I get an upgrade. And let's check out the seek the item room. And I got fire in my laser. I have to show this, so I'm a fire in my laser. <laughs> yeah. Pretty decent, but there's other better items. It's good if you're in a pinch though. Or charges every three rooms. So I call this guy a flesh turret. That sucked. Because he is, this guy's like a skull turret, I guess. He'll only pop up and reveal his flesh. Oh shit. Every once in a while. Otherwise, he'll do that and harden. <laughs> I'll just, oh, I forgot I have chocolate milk. I should just charge up. Oh my god. Nice charge up shot. Let's uh, go take on the boss. Fistula. Now, <laughs> don't Google Fistula. Whatever you do, swear to God, do not Google it. Okay? But these guys um, split into multiple parts, as you noticed. And they are colored blue ish, so they also fire out bomb flies and bullet bomb flies. See? And that was pretty done, pretty nicely done there. Found um, Mom's panties. That's a range up right there. Mom's panties allow you to cry farther. Makes sense to me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I take any of those, I'm gonna die. I kind of want to though. I I want to tempt it. I really want to tempt it. I'm gonna tempt it. Oh my god. So now I'm just running on spirit hearts. Now this is an interesting video to say the least because basically right now I can fly which doesn't really go good with my nail item as my spacebar but it allows me to be a lot easier to, it allows me to dodge everything a lot easier by flying over pits or rocks which certainly helps and I just got a speed upgrade <laughs> the belt <laughs> I know that speed upgrade <laughs> so now I move a bit faster and I can also go in this dungeon room I can take everything in this chest and then leave the dungeon room because I can fly over the bars that'll close down on me. And screw all you guys. See? Cool stuff. Um, should I go in the arcade? Um, just gonna blow up this guy. And this guy. Good thing I did that. I was hoping they'd be a spirit heart. Okay. Now that I just had a massacre in the in the arcade, let's 
go to the shop and go on a shopping spree, potentially. The map, that is actually a very useful item. And I'll buy this card for shits. The <laughs> fool. Well, that's what happens when I buy a card for shits. It takes me directly to the room I start off in on each floor. So let's go to the next floor and you will see that room right now. So, he is having a nightmare about jumping in a hole and breaking his body. Breaking his body. I wonder why. Now we can see the map and we can see the secret room. So why not head there? And if we don't like where we're going, we can always use the fool. That is another boss right there. That's Larry Jr. <laughs> and uh, that's a pretty interesting name right there. Now let's kill some more fire. Kill it all dead. Kill some more of these spiraling guts that'll just hang out on the walls. These guys are like the easiest enemies to kill in this part, but it's <laughs> taken me freaking forever to do so. Holy shit. So, open up this, get a bunch of shit. 14 cents, already almost enough to go to the freaking shop already. And I have Ouija board and the flying, so that means I can literally just fly over these rocks and shoot over them, because normally you can't shoot over them when you're flying over rocks, which is an amazing combination. This is the Ernicus cookbook, and it does what it says. I will use that if I see a chance to use it um, good not I won't I will go back for it unfortunately I'll do a little backtracking just to show a good advantage of what you can do with it so oh dodge that turret these guys never die they just stop shooting when everything's dead um since the secret room is right there let's go blow it up and get one up now I'm pretty sure even if I die with this even if I have a one up normally that means I'll come back to life but since I have no red hearts left I'm pretty certain I'm not gonna come back to life Let's kill another Larry Jr., so I'm pretty certain that one up is totally useless. And he's pooping, pooping Larry Jr. right here. Destroy some more fire. And let's go kill this boss and use the full card. Now, we got Gish here, which is like those other Gish enemies, I don't know if I mentioned their name, in uh, that appeared earlier, that shot, like the bishops. This guy is from Edmund... Edmund McMillan's earlier game, earlier than Super Meat Boy, which is the other game that he's famous for, and it's a, a game called Gish, obviously, where you're a tar, a pile of tar, a ball of tar. It's hard as hell as to control. I played it a little bit, I did not like it, so, yeah. So, continue killing this guy while holding the fool, making me feel like a fool. Now, this a radioactive sludge, all it does is slow you down. But if you get hit by his balls, his bullets there, his bombs, you see that hurts. But then it only does the slime afterwards, which I don't even think I get affected by because I am flying. And I wish this guy would just die. Oh my god, man. Come on. Okay, so he's dead. And I actually got another devil room. What could you possibly offer? <laughs> I can't even buy any of them. A dead cat which will give you nine lives, which is totally useless for me. Or we need to go deeper, which is a shovel, in case you have some more chest deception, which the shovel takes you to a lower, uh, a lower level, which is sometimes useful. And of course, I go to the shop, meet Greed. He's like, you greedy son of a bitch, I'm here to tell you you're wrong. And I'm like, oh. But he also gives a bunch of money and a pill, which I'll use. Got a pretty fly. Now let's uh, actually use the fool because I didn't actually use it. Okay, so bunch of ooze guys, which suck because I used the nail and still got hurt, which wasted it because they do one whole heart of damage. Kill some guts here. Open this chest. I should uh, charge up my uh, nail more often in rooms. He says as he kills a gut, because you can do it twice in each room, but it takes a long time. Unfortunately, you can slow those turrets, as you see, and I can't believe I had to go pick that up. Because the gish item that I got... Oh yeah, I can fly over this. <laughs> that black little ball that shoots his, his balls slow enemies and slow the bullets that they uh, shoot. 
and if you shoot the turrets with it, it'll slow them. These leapers are extreme assholes, leaping about, trying to kill you, but to handle that pretty well. This is definitely a, a good run, good first run. It's going to be a little long though, already at 30 minutes, and counting. And I got Roid Rage. Uh, dead babies, dead babies, oh god, run away from the dead babies. Dead fetuses, I don't know. Kill these, oh yeah, but it still got hurt. This sucks. I, n I don't know if I'll be able to do it with this setup, but it's a very interesting setup, nonetheless. And by able to do it, I mean like totally beat the game, because there's a couple different levels of beating the game in this game. And the first level, the first time you ever beat the game, it is only up till the depths 2. And I'm at the depths 1 right now, so that obviously means one more level, and I would officially beat the game for the first time. But since I've already beaten this so many times, like at least 10, I actually can, uh continue on in the story, which is, gets even more bizarre, to say the least. So, let's kill this brain with the sludge and use the nail for a heart. Go in here, and a blood bank, which is totally useless. Oh my god, I used the pill, which is bad trip. I meant to use the, the bomb here. Now that pill obviously hurt me, because I had a bad trip, man, I had a bad trip. Uh, yeah, it sucks. Oh well. So, let's just get the hell out of here. No point in staying, because I've done everything I need to do here. And go on the depths too. What you dreaming about now? Oh, you're on the toilet. They're laughing at you on the toilet. What dicks, man. He knew some shitty people. So, let's kill some. I don't, they have a, like, a funny name for these guys, I don't know what it is though. But I just know them as extremely annoying assholes who extend their necks at me. See? <laughs> and then turn into other extremely annoying assholes. It's in their blood. So, actually I can fly over these spikes so I shouldn't even worry about that kill some bullet bomb flies and brains say that ten times fast bullet bomb flies brains <laughs> and some pills here which is always okay since you don't know if they're gonna be good or bad I'll just hold on to that for now and use this and blow that up yes cool so this is another boss from earlier in the game possibility anyway a possibility in the earlier game because the bosses are not set it's random just like everything else in this game so this guy, I can actually use a bomb, oh, he didn't even use a bomb and he'll eat it, but for some reason he wasn't. And that guy was also colored green, which means he spawns these guys, instead of the normal maggots that he spawns. And I got one cent for all of my troubles. I will use that pill in a second, you guys gotta remind me though, okay? Just remind me in a second or two. Not like one second or two, don't be too literal with that. Just remind me, okay? And kill some bean guys. That's so weird. I don't even want to know what those guys are. Open up a, another room here and an item room. And this is Dead Sea Scrolls, which, is, which will re, re randomize a spacebar item, which could be good or bad because some of them hurt you. So, the Book of Belial, which increases my damage for one room. Which means I was useless. Awesome. I didn't even show you with the Anarchist Cookbook, but basically that spawned a bunch of uh, bombs. And you could, uh, but it randomly spawned a bunch of bombs, like uh, Envy, or... Yeah, I think I showed him earlier. I think it was Envy. And, uh, yeah, another fool. Let's just use my pill. I don't know why I was holding it. Hoping for explosive diarrhea? No, just bad gas. Maybe next time, though. Maybe that's the the oncoming of explosive diarrhea. It's just some bad gas. <laughs> Those are both pills. Or, yeah, pills you can get. You can also find uh, pills that turn you retarded. Which are humorous, to say the least. They don't actually do anything. So, let's go to the shop. And a ladder, which is extremely useless. But I will pick this up. Because, why not? And, sure, why not? Unless I pick up an item called Money is Power, there's no point in anything else, and uh, having my money anymore. 
So let's just continue through this, exploring as much as I can for now, because on the next floor, I'm definitely not doing that. I'm definitely going to try to get the fuck out as soon as I can, because that's when shit gets, starts getting really hard. And there's a secret rock here, so let's just blow that up for some two bombs and a spirit heart, which is awesome. It's starting to look pretty good for me, and another nail charge. Go in here and find Lust. Her characteristic, or his, I don't know, is uh, that she moves really fast. But I slowed her down. I'm just going to call her her. Another bad trip pill, which is extremely useless. Let's use the fool. Which actually had a use right there to save some time. So, let's use that. And the devil. This increases my damage for one room, I think, just like the Book of Belial, which I uh, used with the Dead Sea Scrolls earlier. Which is confusing as hell to anyone who's never played this game. They're like, what the hell did he just say? What's going on? All I see are a bunch of balls flying around the screen. <laughs> this isn't gay porn, so I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so, once again, use my wings to get out of the dungeon room. No point being in there, but the music is still playing. So, basically got a bunch of money for free again. Did I dodge all that? I think I just dodged all that. That's awesome. This has turned out to be a very decent run so far, but I still have my bad run, so... Don't worry, you can look forward to those. Use another nail. I think my items are just, uh, pretty... We're a very... I don't know how to put it. We're good enough. We're, um... They went well together. That's good. That's what I meant. That's what I was trying to put together, and I couldn't. Oh, awesome. Sometimes they just spawn shit in these rooms. So that's what I figured would happen. Let's blow up this blood bank. I have no use for it. And another one. Nice. Uh, let's gamble a tiny bit here. Let's go down to 20 cents. Nope. Now this guy, even though he switches around, he is still 100% random. It's 33% chance that he will give you anything. He'll give you the thing that you... Uh, says that he will. And once again, I said I am going to stop playing when I get, um, 20 cents. So, now I just picked up another pretty fly pill, which gives me another fly floating around. I don't know if you noticed that, but there's a fly and a cube around me, so if I use this pill, now I have two flies and a cube, and that's the maximum amount of another of, of I don't know, rotators you can have. You can only have three. Now I have 20 cents. Let's, uh, Blow this shit up. Let's pick up my card. And troll bomb. And I got my bombs back and a key. Which is pretty decent. So, let's go kill mom. Yeah. So, this is uh, mom. You have to kill her eyes, kill her hairy foot. Oh my gosh, she spawns everything and a half. And my Cuba meat and pretty flies just saved me a bunch of times with that pooter. Blocking bullets. Because I definitely... Oh, use the devil. She definitely should have used this earlier. So now I'm even more powerful. Alright, alright, come on. Gotta kill these enemies too, because they will pile up fast if you cannot kill her fast enough. Some of the enemies are easier to uh, dispose of, though. Come on. She is uh, loud. Okay. Oh, come on. She also has another attack where she will uh, attack her with her stubby arms through the walls, but hopefully I won't have to get hurt by that. And got another nail charge, which I waste for an extra spirit heart. Get mom's lisp lipstick. Can't even say that. Lisp lispic. <laughs> Lipstick for range up once again. Wearing panties and lipstick, but I look like a freaking demon flying baby. Which is so cool. And having nightmares about falling deeper and deeper into the womb. I don't even know. Don't ask me. Don't ask. I don't know. And greed once again. So I guess this proves that I always thought you can only encounter greed once ever in a game. And like in in a game play. So I encountered him in the shop. And now he's in the secret room, like a dick. But I handled him pretty well, didn't even take any damage. And I got useless money and coins, which 
are useless at this point almost basically <laughs> so now we're going with some ma I don't even know what to call those like teeth flying worms I don't want to go into any other names like they could possibly be because I've heard some pretty bad ones <laughs> so let's kill this oh my god these guys are pretty okay to deal with unfortunately they're one of the easier guys in this part of the level. It's, oh, why don't I go in here? These guys are Diglets. You guys remember Diglets, right? Come on, who doesn't know Diglets? They are uh, trolly, because they're like, oh, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. No, we're going back. Getting closer, getting closer. And they just go back. They teleport away for whatever reason. So let's go in this room, check if it's here. Right now we're looking for the boss room, because there are no other rooms left, like item rooms or shops. There might be might be arcades, and there might, there still is dungeon rooms, but those are insanely hard right now. So you can always see when it's a boss room to your right, or an item room, or a dungeon. So I know that room that I left over there is not any of those. Let's kill that turret. Let's kill these freaking beam guys. I was hoping the turret would pop up, but he's not. So let's kill these beam guys. Alright. There we go. Cool stuff. Got a bunch of hearts on now off the screen, which is good setup. He's screaming, shrieking fetuses, floating fetuses are just created from nightmares. Like, I don't know. That's nightmare fuel right there. And of course, some more guts which are now the easiest item enemies we can find. Some more of these, uh, I don't know what to call these guys. Flying maggot things. Diseases. <laughs> they look like diseases to me, some sort. <laughs> like, if you have this, you're gonna die. So, what is that saying for whoever's womb this is? I'm assuming Isaac's mom. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. I don't even want to go into what that means after you kill mom and then you go on to the next floor and it turns out to be the womb. But I got a ga bad gas pill. Shows that she's not very digestive, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Kill more some more. Ugh, kill some more Larry Juniors. With all the poop that they got going here. Oh my god, okay, so. Go down here, another blood donation machine, which is extremely useless to us. Unless it gives us another blue heart, which it did not. <gasps> that eyeball in the center of the room will fire lasers at us constantly, so you have to take them out fast. And these worms are also extremely, extremely annoying. So let's go down here, and there's the boss room. Let's get the fuck out of here. And I farted on that guy. And he died to it. Oh, I should, probably shouldn't have done that for the boss. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh... Okay, Larry Juniors can die. I'm just gonna recharge my, uh... Nail here. Unfortunately, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Go against what's, uh... A normal player's code. But you have to in this game, because... This game's not easy. I shouldn't have killed them. I shouldn't have killed them. Let's get out of here. Um, I'm gonna go in a couple more rooms, unfortunately for me. Probably might be a bad decision. <sighs> Already took one damage, that's one whole heart gone. Okay, one more room. And I'm pro oh, this is actually probably a good idea, because I think these Larry Juniors, since they are blue, will always drop a blue heart when you die, when they die, sorry. And that music change is a little different. If you haven't noticed, the music's pretty pretty awesome in this game. It sets a really dark tone, which is awesome. And they did drop a blue heart, which is also awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I used the nail. I'm a freaking retard. All right, whatever. Let's go. Let's go. Shut up. Let's go. Don't even. Shut up. Don't even. Don't even talk about it. That never happened. Let's go. Skolex. This is the easiest boss in the game because all he does is that and he dies quickly if you can hit him oh he does that too he does yeah like a couple attacks but none of them are threatening at all basic shit oh, 
come on. And this attack. And that's it. Okay, come on. Thank you. Dog food. Yeah, I got one whole heart. Which, you know, is a lot better than, you know, not having that at all. So, secret room is right there, which is awesome. And there's no reason to even go in here, really. It might have been a, a decent item in here, but I don't know what I would have would have wanted. Anyway. So, there's the arcade. Let's go spend the money to go in there real quick. Since I can. Okay. Get that key for pretty much no reason. And let's blow this shit up. Just want spirit hearts. It's all I can hope for. Which are the blue hearts. And I should have expected to not get lucky there. So, let's just go down. Why not? Now, these guys are like cysts. I hate words like that. Cysts. <laughs> Spewing out their bile at us. I don't know. Whatever, whatever that is. And these guys are extreme dicks as well. Let's use the rock or the nail. Sometimes there's secret rocks in the womb, but they're fucking impossible to find. Unfortunately. So, just continue on. Kill some giant brains from uh, Futurama. Except they don't seem very smart. Since they're just jumping. But whatever. And they spawn smaller brains, which are nothing at this point. And I know the boss isn't in that room at the bottom, because I couldn't see the boss door. And these eyeballs are assholes. Use the nail again. And there's the boss room. Let's go uh, talk to the bigger here. Justice, as people like to call him. So I'll probably just keep calling him that too. And he gave me ten bombs. Not bad. Not bad, Justice. So, let's go kill Mom's heart. Okay. Kill the lasers first, very important. I already got hurt to him, which is stupid because I should have known. Plant a bomb, blow everything up, and rinse and repeat. Now, she will continue being the mom, the heart will be there the whole time. Uh, until. Um, unless there's, if there's any enemies on the screen, then she will go back up. So now she's there again. So if you can time bombs then you can prevent her from going back up because you can only hurt her during those times now this she actually starts off as yeah no it's mom's heart and she look actually looks like a heart but in this boss she is actually I don't know it lives is what they call it which is a harder version of it because it's spawning shit like these zombies which you have to shoot from the back and plant a bomb oh I didn't even kill those enemies but those guys are easy to kill anyway. He says as he gets hurt. No. Okay. Went to bomb. Duke of Flies. Is that the first boss I fought? I think so. Maybe not. I don't think so. I don't think I fought him yet. He spawns a bunch of flies. He's a dick. That might have been my practice run. Can't even remember anymore. It's all a blur. There were maggots. There were dead bodies. There's lots of blood. And I was crying so much, man. I don't even know what happened. I grew some wings and some horns. <laughs> there were flies around me. <laughs> so, now we got her to the second phase. Which means she's always staying down like this. And my bombs aren't succeeding so well. And she also throws her own bombs. And spawns enemies a lot. I might even have a chance to just beat the game right here. Like, this is seeming pretty good for me. Oh, this guy's still alive. I was wondering what's going on. So, kill him. And I got the f next... The f the, no, uh, no item, but I got to go to the next floor. Or the devil room, which just takes me to the next floor. So there's no, no items here. You just go into your nightmare where you get a dream. Or where you get a gift with some poop in it. And get laughed at yet again. That seems to be a common theme here. So now I'm in Sheol, which is like the Old Testament so like Jewish hell basically purgatory I can't say it's hell because it's obviously not the equivalent I mean it's obviously not the same I guess it kind of maybe is an equivalent but definitely not the, just the same thing they obviously have their own thing about it radioactive spider 
Oh, spider bite slowing effect. I heard this might actually break the game if you kill this final boss with the slowing effect and he's frozen. You might not be able to win. So this is, might be a good time to check. But for now, it's just a nice little side grade that I got, or upgrade, that I didn't expect really. And it just it would it would have been cooler if it showed up earlier with the gish, because I would have had so much more slowing potential. So the only thing we can look forward to on this floor is, besides the secret room where I just got the spider bite, is uh, the boss room where we can fight Satan well, and his multiple forms, I guess. Oh, I got steam sail. That's nice and useful. I mention it and I get it. Well, I mentioned it earlier. Oh god. Oh god. I don't like this room at all. These guys can't hurt me while I'm on the rocks, but they are faster versions of zombies and they hurt. Oh my god. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get out of here. Okay. Okay. So, because I went into that room, I knew that the extra room there was not the boss room, so I knew that it should not have, uh, or could not have, that couldn't have been it. This has, has to be this way. This is actually the first form of the boss, also known as the Fallen, which I just took stupid damage to. And I'm slowing him down, which is good. At 50%, he is going to turn into two Fallens and do these same attacks that he just did there. One where he chases you when he yells and tries to do the lasers like that and like I guess not like like that there we go and I got hurt by it I knew it was coming and I got hurt by it like I'm a fucking alright let's go let's go kill these guys uh, pills here take them health up is that a full heart over here? if that is that's really cool okay well I can't complain with half a heart so I just got a uh, half a heart for free and a potential another half a heart. And another fallen, wow. Not cool, bro, not cool. Oh, I was hoping, oh my god, I'm not dodging those at all today. Cool. I was kind of hoping to use it versus these guys, do some AoE damage, but it's all good. Use my nail. This time I'm going to try to save up for it, for the boss, because this is my last chance to use it. I still have hearts going off the screen, so that's a good sign. Oh my god, man. Okay. Two greeds. It's not so bad in all the things that it potentially could be anyway. Let's focus on one. Okay. Made me chop three cents, you dick. Slow him down, kill him. Kill him, Dad! So, yeah, if you haven't noticed, there's like seven deadly sins, there's four horsemen. There's a bunch of references to a bunch of things, and they make it uh, very interesting and awesome. So I have to kill these zombies to get to the boss room, but that's okay, because thankfully it is the boss room, and I have the nail, which I will not use this time, because I did last time, and I don't want to make a fool of myself twice, even though I have multiple times in this video anyway. So, let's just kill these guys and, oh my god, potentially beat the game on camera for the first time. So, kill these Isaac wearing zombies. I don't know what to call them. Isaac's head is on the back there, which is trippy to say the least. Let's go fight Satan. So there's a trick here. Starts off right there, so you want to put a bomb like half a second later. Too early, damn it! So he spawns two bomb lines. If you put a bomb there, it'll just kill everything. So use the nail. Now that I'm in a safe position, and I just destroyed the rock that Satan was standing on, or something. I don't know. Anyway, oh my god, I'm a moron. I knew that was coming. I killed already two of these guys. Well, if you want to get technical, I killed two and then four. So six total, so now this is going to be my seventh and then eighth and ninth. <laughs> oh my god. This is a, a nice run to show you guys. If I win this, it shows that I put a lot of um, 
extraneous activity, I guess, into this. Like, it wasn't easy, because you can definitely get much easier uh, runs or weapons that just make things a lot. You, you'll be very overpowered if you have the right combination of stuff. And I do have a good combination, but mine focuses on defense as well with the flying and uh, super meat boy and pretty flies. If I just got like pure damage, this would be going a lot faster. So that was the second form there. Now we're going to his hoop form, I guess, for lack of a better <laughs> word. And he spawns these uh, flies, which are also dicks because they explode. So if you kill them without paying attention, oh my god, I didn't even notice my health. So I really gotta step it up here because I have eight hearts. I don't know. I don't want to count. I think eight hearts. Gotta focus. Gotta not die. Oh my god, seven hearts. He's halfway dead. This is definitely not the easiest victory that I've had. I think I can do it though. I think I got this. Let's do this. Come on, man. Alright, alright, alright. Oh my god! I killed him. I killed him. And I got the chest that Isaac was having a nightmare about earlier. Let's go inside. What do we find? This is where we actually find the next item that you get for beating the game, which is a nice little reward, but since I have beaten the game so many times, this is just the little ending they give you. Show you all the little forms you can be. <gasps> and then what could be happening? He hides in the chest to escape everything. Wow. I'm pretty sure his mom's still alive in his little story. I don't know. Nice fucked up little story. Hope you guys had fun watching. I know I did playing. See you next time.